Yes, it may be two weeks after Halloween, and yeah, I'm a bit late to this topic, but welcome to a video all about Thought Park Friday Nights 2021. I was sat there minding my own business, and bang, a light bulb hit me. That's not how it works. Light bulb moment. I, f I completely forgot that I hadn't done a Fright Nights video this year. So yeah, this is going to be a short little video all about my full thoughts on Fright Nights and um, also something else that happened, which I'm making out to be some huge secret, but it's probably the title of the video. Lycanthorpe versus Amity High. Love bites. I had to put emphasis on the bites because it's in capital letters. It was, of course, a scare zone based on werewolves and vampires in Stealth Plaza. Now, last year, really enjoyed this. was probably one of my favourite things there. Um, this year, felt a little bit disappointing. Occasionally, I got a few interactions here and there. Got a few photos. I, I played a game with them. And he's coming. Okay. But the Flash Mob show was really good. Again, wasn't as good as last year, in my opinion, but was still very solid. I will give Amity vs. Lycan, Love Bites, a 6 out of 10. Swarm Invasion. Um, there's really one word that describes this, and that's piss. Literally, the majority of the time you are on the island interacting with actors, it's just them with bottles fill filled with their urine. Oh, obviously, the tinfoil hats. Should I go get a tinfoil hat? But it did give a bit more atmosphere to that area. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Birthday Bash. Now, I may have only watched the show twice, but it was a really good show. And I just feel sorry for the piñata. The poor, the poor guy. And the roaming actors, uh, when the show wasn't on, um, were really good as well. Uh, I'd give that a lovely... 6 out of 10. Creek Freak Unchained. Now, this returned from last year. Uh, obviously, when Creek Freak Massacre didn't open. Sad times. But it opened again this year with added theming and added props. And it was a really nicely presented scare zone. It's just because of the maze right next to it, more actors were in there, of course, than outside. So you'd only see about four outside. <laughs> One time, they, they did ask me to sing on stage. Go on, sing. Go on. And last but not least for scare zones, Crows of Morkin Meadows. Oh my god, I could talk about this all day. It's an amazing scare zone. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the best things at Friday Nights this year. And the lighting and the smoke at night, just the way the crows are so silent and they're creepy. Oh, I just, oh bro, I can't. Seeing crows left, right and centre, being cornered, told to sit down. With... Cheers, Connor. Morkin Meadows. The smoke, watch every corner. I'm, I'm being very cautious. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Help! I don't know. You move. Uh oh. Being pointed at is very rude. Legacy, of course, the fire and light show, started halfway through the event and I absolutely loved it. Obviously, it could have done with a screen in the middle uh, to give it some more story as there was a lot of people just looking at it like, what the f*** is going on? But really like the throwbacks and the music, the remixes. Oh my. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. And now, on to the mazes, which is where the whole, you know, thing comes into it. We'll start with Creek Freak Massacre. And it was so good to get back in this maze. Honestly, Love that maze to bits. It's one of the scariest I've ever done. The majority of the times I've done it, I've ended up running out at the end. And one time I got brought up on the balcony section and there was like six or seven of them that surrounded me, which, oh my. It would have been nice to have a few more chainsaws in there because I think the max I saw was two. If there was more, either way, insane and scary as hell. Nine out of ten. The brand new maze for this year. Trailers. What did I think? Well, I thought it was very good. The set design was really cool. The way it flowed from like one film to the next was again really good. Although I only ever had one amazing run through, um, the rest were decent, still really scary. But that doll section is one of the creepiest things. So as much as I didn't have many great run throughs on it, I can massively appreciate the fact people love this maze and I can appreciate it for what it is. 
8 out of 10. Now this may not make any sense to you, but I've saved, in my opinion, the best till last. Yeah, platform 15. So I'm going to run you through my opinion change. First day, pass holder day, didn't enjoy it at all. Was not a big fan because there was hardly any actors, um, no scares at all. The final day, which was services day, we went for the final run through ever on it at close. I have never been more scared in a scare maze. Every time we went through a scene, the actors that were in that scene would then follow us through, come in front of us and start scaring us, along with the actors that were in front of us. So by the end of it, we had about, I want to say up to 15 actors just following us, trying to scare us from behind. And oh, we got told to run and they started chasing us. I got pinned against a wall, like hood thrown over my head and started like bashing the walls next to me. And so I just want to say a huge thank you to the platform cast for that last run through because oh it was uh, i can't i can't i can't not talk about it and i know i've rated it the highest of the mazes because of that one run through but i feel because of how intense that was i have the right to put it there <laughs> but yeah what did you guys think of fright nights 2021 and would you like to see the return of all those three mate well obviously not platform because it's been confirmed to be removed but would you like to see the return of trailers and creek freak next year Let's RMC them all, guys.